My name is Simon Richardson. I'm one of the directors of Golden Tree Wellbeing CIC and it's a real pleasure to be with you today to talk through some of the things that you can do to look after your physical and mental well-being. Over this series of five videos lasting about five minutes each we're going to talk about one theme in each video. And these themes come from the New Economics Foundation. It's called the Five Ways to Wellbeing. So those five ways to wellbeing are connect, take notice, be active, keep learning and give. So five things that we need to do to keep ourselves physically and emotionally well. So the first one that we're going to look at is connect. At the moment, our ability to connect with others seems to have been reduced somewhat. And it's so important that we do maintain social connections with people. There's a lot of talk at the moment about social distancing, but perhaps it's more about physical distance and proximity that we need to be thinking about. We can still keep that six feet apart from people but make eye contact and smile. These small bits of connection, these small moments of connection are really important for our mental well-being and of the mental well-being of the people around us. One of the ways that I found really useful is the use of some of the video apps on my phone and on my computer. Now, FaceTime, uh, WhatsApp, the Facebook, uh, video application that is there and interestingly I came across a little bit of work that suggested that seeing someone sort of on the screen is exactly the same as seeing them face to face your brain can't tell the difference so all of those positive feelings and experiences that we get when we see someone in the flesh we get those same feelings when we see people virtually across the screen just think about the last time that you saw a friend in the street, chances are you uh, smiled. Think about if you've used this video technology, when someone pops up on your screen, perhaps a little bit unexpectedly, you smile. That smile starts to change some of the brain chemistry and lifts the mood, keeps us emotionally well and connected with the wider society. I've also had a couple of really interesting experiences looking at group chats. Uh, a group of my friends uh, got together via one of the video messaging services and we had an evening where we shared a cup of tea, had a chat about how we all were and there are a whole host of applications out there that you can access. Another thing that has been really interesting is you're never too old to learn about these things. My 85-year-old mum has learned how to use uh, FaceTime and WhatsApp. We live in different towns and I can't get down to see her at the moment. So it's a real joy to be able to pick the phone up, press the video call and see her. So checking in with people using the variety of social media apps that are out there is really, really important. There's also something that we need to think about doing as well though. Maybe connecting with the people that are around us in our own home. Try and create some time to maybe have a meal together. So you're sitting down, you're chatting about the day, what are people doing? You're probably doing more things around sort of homeschooling or working from home. Make sure that you give the time for some social connection with family members. But we've been digging to the back of cupboards and pulling out board games so that we can play board games together that we haven't played for years. And that's been really good fun because there's been a great deal of laughter and humour as we remind ourselves of the rules of the game but also playing together. And that laughter, that humour, that fun is also essential to our mental well-being. Thank you for listening to me and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye.